Good morning guys and happy Saturday. It's super early. I still have Christmas bedding on the bed. <sighs> I'm working. It's my second Saturday in a row. I'm actually doing three in a row. I'm doing a favour. Um, so, because it's not my shift, my friend isn't picking me up because they're not working. So I'm getting public transport. So, it's 7.32, I'm walking down the hill to work. Office doesn't open at half nine. I must be insane. Start at nine, but basically, because I'm on the good old public transport, there was a train at like 19 minutes past seven, or a bus at half seven, um, and John had to drop me off at seven, so this was, I'd rather be in the warm office than the cold bus stop, so yeah, I'm gonna, oh, I'm out puff already. <laughs> Made it in one piece. <laughs> Uh, I'm just a little bit cash. I've got like this bat wing grey top on and skinny jeans and knee high brown boots. Um, I've worn this top to work before but I've always worn it with try like smart trousers and that's kind of in a dress down day but uh, I can't be asked. So it's like it's not my weekend in and I'm doing like favours. Um, I'm meant to be a team of two and the person I'm supposed to be working with is out on appointments all day so I'm by myself. I have no appointments in the diary. So unless, yes, we have a Barbie doll on our toilet, fun. Um, so unless I get a walk in, I'm not gonna actually see anybody today so I think I'll be all right. And I think statement necklace and I'm sat at a desk. They can't see the jeans, it's fine. But big thing for today is positivity um, because you probably know Christmas is my thing and today or this weekend I need to take down to Christmas Street because it's sixth night on Sunday, twelfth night on Sunday and they have to come down or it's bad luck isn't it type thing. Um, so I'm taking down the work Christmas decorations this morning and then at some point over the weekend I've got to take down ours at home which makes me sad. But new beginnings and all of that so trying to stay positive but first things first I need a brew. Finished work, walking up to Sainsbury, he's going to meet John there. This hill is a killer. <sighs> going to need a coffee, so yeah. John's going to be back 20 minutes, I think. So have a little mooch on Sainsbury's. And have a brew and some lunch with John. Yeah. Hi guys. Yeah. So, had our lunch. I had tomato and basil soup. Where are we going? I thought we were going to the range. We are going to the range. Is this the way you go? Yeah. We're going to the range. Um, yeah, I had tomato and basil soup. John had fish and chips. We're going to the range to buy a large box to put baubles, etc, etc in. Because I'm going to have them stored in the garage this year rather than taking up space in the spare bedroom. That is the plan. The range done successfully. Got our, I want to say Tupperware. They're not Tupperware. What are they called? Storage boxes. Storage boxes. Um, didn't look at any of the reduced Christmas decorations because John's with me. <laughs> and he's the grown up in this situation. Um, yeah, we're gonna go home. It is like 10 past three. Sainsbury's is coming between four and five, and we've got to take the tree down. And we're home, and it's time to take this one down. But we've got good tubs to put them in, so they'll be safe for next year. But I don't want to take it down. One last look at my beautiful tree. 
Right, let's take this bad boy down. Shopping's here. Giddy's done his inspection. He approves. <laughs> and there is the shopping all laid out. Hi guys, and it is 20 to 8. The Christmas tree is gone. Done, found a new toy. Need to make some tea. And it's tea time. And tonight it's kind of a fajita hybrid. Um, I've done some chicken thighs with red onion and mushrooms, garlic, uh, the spinach in there. And I've also added one of these Heinz Creation Mexican bean things. Um, yeah, it's a bit wetter than I wanted, but you know, I'm sure it'd be nice. And then we've got some low calorie wraps and some half fat cheddar. Hey guys, and that is bedtime. Um, yeah, feel like we've achieved a lot today. All of this <laughs> is going in the garage in the morning. Um, one of our things is we're trying to empty the spare room. We have two bedrooms in this house. You've never been in there because we have no loft and we don't use our garage for storage. We've been using the second bedroom for nine years. So emptying that, getting rid of stuff, either recycling, rubbishing, charity shopping, or putting it in the garage. This is all decorations, Christmas tree and Halloween decorations. I'm gonna hopefully do the Easter ones this week at some point, but yeah. We watched a movie, Usual Subject Suspects. It's from like 99, 98, it's epic. And now we're going to bed. So I'll see you in the morning. Bye guys. Good morning guys and happy Sunday. Um, I look delightful. It's about 10 to 11. I've been up since, I've been awake since seven, but I've been doing stuff since about eight. Um, yeah, just, <laughs> Loading boxes. John's with currently like all the storage boxes in the world outside our front door uh, and John's taking them down to the garage. Our neighbours are going to think we're moving or broken up or something. There's so much stuff but it's just I don't want it in the spare bedroom anymore. It can just go in the garage and yeah that spare bedroom needs to be a bedroom. So last weekend we got rid of like three boxes worth of stuff off to either charity shops or whatever um, now all the Christmas decorations, it feels really echoey in here, all the Christmas decorations are packed up and they're going in the garage and then I've got a box of Easter decorations and a box of like Halloween, fall, autumn decorations. So they're all gone. And yeah, and we have another bag of stuff for a charity shop and there's like two bags of rubbish, like broken decorations that I'm like, oh I'll craft something out of it. Or, Oh, I'll fix it. And it just hasn't happened. So they're going. So yeah, my house still looks state, but there's like bags and boxes, less stuff in it. So my theory is the less stuff in the actual house, the easier it'd be to keep tidy. Um, I've also taken, oh, it looks so awful. The kitchen's a mess. We used to have like printed Instagram pictures on there and on the fridge and I've taken them down and now I don't like it, so they might be going back up. Oh, and I found some nail polishes. <laughs> I need to take that off, but yeah. That's our morning so far. Right, I'm gonna tidy up the kitchen and then I'm gonna have a shower. Fun. Hi guys. Hello. And uh, finally out the house. Hair done. Looking a little bit less of a state than I looked yesterday. Um, we're going to Starbucks. Who we are, we're basic. Um, I most people go to Starbucks for a coffee, we go there for breakfast and lunch. Oh, I don't want to. I for a coffee and a sandwich. I'm hoping they have that risotto stuff though, because I want if they've got risotto, I'm gonna try it. But yeah, I'm going to Starbucks. I've got my peanut butter jumper on, looks a bit like Brownie's uniform. I don't care, I freaking love it. That's what we're doing. Starbucks done. Did you enjoy your Starbucks? I did. Tell the people what you had. A pork cereal latte. I didn't like it. In the pit.
picture on the ball, it had Cheerios on it. Yeah. It didn't have Cheerios in it though, oh, did it? I'd like some kind of... Sprinkles. Yeah. But I saw when she got this metal jug to make it, I saw her putting some powder in it. I don't know what it was, but... It's with um, it's dairy free oat milk. Oh, I like oat milk. But yeah, I liked it. It was very sweet. I tasted it. I didn't like it. I had um, a toffee nut latte because I still have some left from Christmas. I still swear that you didn't like my drink because you had cream off the top of yours first. And then what sandwich did you have? A Christmas sandwich? No, no, no. I just had a um, bacon and um, uh, cheese and ham toast. Oh, I thought it had turkey in it. No. But it had pickles. Yeah. So it had gherkins. Um, I had, they had both with the risotto. They had the butternut squash. Um, but I had the mushroom one instead because I just fancied it and it was really nice, really good. I liked it, I rated it. Uh, now we're going to John's shop, pick up some stuff. Um, not open on a Sunday, but we've got to go and do some, pick up some bits and then we're going to go home. Hi guys, we've just been to Morrison's. Um, <laughs> I feel such a loser saying this. Basically, I saw online that Morrison's are now selling minkies. Um, I'm not hidden the fact that I uh, like a bit of Mrs. Hinch, uh, but I've never had a minky because they're always out of stock. Um, I have got the Marks and Spencers version of a minky, but I'd quite like a minky. Um, minky. Minky. So <laughs> we went into Morrison's to have a look because we were driving past and uh, they had a Kermit and a Clarence, but they were sold out of Minkies. So, didn't get one. Did, however, buy other stuff. I'll show you that when we get home. But yeah, we are now on the way home. I really need a wee. And I think you needed to know that. True story. And we are home and my hair is a mess. Um, my whole house is a mess. But yeah, I'll show you what I got from Morrison's. Just a couple of bits. So, in the reduce section, they had loads of Christmas stuff reduced, but this, I like this. It's a, a confetti table cover. I thought it was cute. Um, it's got a little bit of blue in it. I just liked it. And it was reduced to £1.25. I got some of these Grey's Cocoa and Vanilla Oat Bars. Got some popcorn. I like popcorn at work. It's a good snack. Better for you than crisps, anyway. Uh, 63 calories per serving. How many servings? So this is two servings. Beam still. And then this is not that healthy, but I kind of wanted it. Uh, banana milkshake. Yeah. John will not like this. He doesn't like artificial banana flavourings, but I do. Hi, guys. So it's a bit later now. Proper dark. We've just been chillaxing, chillaxing, chill out, chilling out. John spoke to his mum on the phone for a bit. Um, and yeah, I am now going to attempt a new recipe. I'm going to make some lamb burgers, but we're not going to eat them in rolls. We're just going to have them as like meat patties or meat grills. I don't know. But yeah, it's a recipe. It's got olives and sun dried tomatoes in, so I'm going to give that a go and hopefully it will be yummy. And it's tea time, and this is either going to be amazing or awful. <laughs> um, I've done homemade chips with peas, and these are homemade lamb burgers. Um, it's not my recipe, it got it offline. So it's lamb mince, garlic, salt, pepper, red onion, sun-dried tomatoes, and olives. The reason why I'm not happy with them is I have a burger press somewhere, and I couldn't find it, so these have been, like, hand-done so they're not as tight as they should be. Um, and as such, we've got crumbling burger, which makes me wonder if it is cooked properly. But this is what we're having for, for tonight. Um, at least the chips look good, so we won't starve. Lamb burgers were all right. I couldn't taste the olives, but the sundry tomatoes were good. They were good in there. Definitely need to find my burger press, though, because they're a bit crumbly, because they're not the right firmness, if that makes sense. Uh, we are now watching Gilly Get Down. He's so naughty. 
Um, we are now going to watch the great big quiz of everything with Jimmy Carr, and I'm going to fix my nails. Hey guys, and that is bedtime. Uh, we watched that Jimmy Carr thing, and then we're watching old episodes of Peep Show. Um, so that was cool. Uh, I've prepped my breakfast for the morning. I'm having overnight oats with chia seeds, and it's like a cherry Alpro yogurt. Done my nails, I've gone for a chocolate and gold combo. Now I was ready to come in. Um, and yeah, back to work tomorrow. I hope you've had a good weekend or a good day, whenever it is you watch this. And I'll talk to you in the next one. Bye guys.